Hi everyone, today I'm going to be reviewing my first Buell. This is Buell Matcholite, or I'm not sure exactly how you pronounce her name. Um, she's my very first Buell. I got her as a gift, and I'm excited to finally own one of these because my collection so far has only been pull-ups and dowels and a tie yang, so it's nice to finally have one of these. She's actually one of my favorite Buells. Um, I really, really love her dress, the lace design. Um, I love her really different hairdo. If you can see right here in the box, she has one ponytail that kind of came loose and the other one didn't. Um, but that's okay. And the box is completely red and dark red with some green details here and there and also a little bit of gold right there on the sides so we're gonna go ahead and open her up and see everything that she comes with okay here she is out of the box um, one thing you'll notice right away is that her shoes are really really loose on her so I recommend when you get her onto her stand which is like a brown kind of shiny color um, you get her at, as close to the bottom as you can so that the shoes don't like fall off because they are very loose on her and I'm guessing it's because a lot of um, pull-ups and mules and dolls they come with like thicker stockings but she has these really really thin um, fishnets which might be the reason why the shoes are super loose on her look once already falling off Another thing that you'll notice when taking her out of the box is that her hair is really hard to get out of the netting that it's kind of kept in. So once you're taking the netting off, you may notice that the hair frizzes up really easily. Um, I think that's just the nature of trying to keep the hair like this in the box. But, I mean, I think it looks really cute and it's worth the struggle. So, first her outfit. We'll take a look at her outfit. If you see her outfit is um, like a black and a floral, dark floral theme. Um, it's got all these ruffles right here at the skirt. A bunch of lace ruffles with a bit of a gold trim. It's a little hard to catch that on the camera, but it has a gold trim here and there. And then it has this floral part that kind of splits at the middle. It looks really, really nice. Um, and the floral section has a gold trim as well. So it's like a black, floral, and gold sort of look. Um, at, over the dress, she's wearing a shrug, like a little bolero lace shrug. Um, I think this is probably one of my favorite parts of it, just because I love shrugs and I love lace. And the sleeves kind of have um, their own separate section, which is lace sleeve up here and then polka dotted lace covering the arms um, with little bows right here so it's very intricate it's very detailed her outfit is probably one of my favorite things about her just took her shoes off so that they want to keep falling off but I can show them up close so the shoes are actually um, a black Mary Jane heel with a gold bottom um, they're not super detailed or complicated but I actually like that because a simpler shoe looks nice with a more detailed outfit um, her hair is uh, like a light brown or sort of blonde with red highlights and it's up in these buns at the top if you look at the very top of her head you can see how the hair kinda combs inwards I imagine it's one of the harder wigs to maintain because the curls right here on the side are already frizzy and I'm not really sure how I would go about fixing that. But, I mean, it's it looks really nice already as is. And the frizz isn't completely noticeable. Um, some of the details that she comes with, the little accessories, are this black purse. Um, the black purse has a pearl handle. It has a very cute rose detail right here in the middle um, which I really like it's the rose is made of ribbon and it has a bow around it that's also made of ribbon there's a ribbon trim at the top and then the bottom of the purse is like layers of lace um, 
And there's a Velcro strap so that you can actually put something inside the purse. I'm not sure what would fit in there, but one thing I love about Groove dolls is that everything they have is usually actually functional. Like if they come with a purse, you can actually open the purse. Um, another accessory she comes with is this black hat that has a lace trim going all the way around and another layer of lace right at the top. It has a black ribbon going around it, around the base of it with a black rose, which may be a little harder to see, and a red ribbon rose with a bow. So it follows the same sort of theme as a purse, um, and you put it on with these um, comb endings. Uh, I'm actually a much bigger fan of these than the, than the clip um, that a lot of their accessories have because the clip kind of makes a mess of their hair. Well, this one might make a mess of her hair, too. I haven't tried it yet. But usually, the combs are a little easier to work with. So, the hat would probably be best right here between the buttons. Like that. And then, finally, she comes with this um, little choker necklace that has two different layers to it. There's a pearl... Let me see if that kind of focuses in. There's a pearl layer at the top with a little black ribbon bow attached to it. And then there's a silver beaded layer um, attached to it. So you put this necla necklace on with a little hook clasp, the way you do like real necklaces, I guess. Um, my concern is that it's so tiny it's going to be a little hard to get it on her, but... It completes the outfit, so it's definitely necessary. Um, so then that would go right here. And with that, you know, it adds to a bunch of little pearl details that I haven't mentioned yet. So the, the purse does have the pearl handle. There's also these little pearl details at the tip of several little golden ribbons. Um, which I think kind of completes the look very nicely. And overall, I... I think her outfit is great. I usually have seen several Buells where their outfits are a lot brighter or really colorful. Um, and I tend to like kind of the darker outfits. Um, things with a lot of lace and ribbons and things like that. And this one was right up my alley because it's, you know, a dark scheme. Her tights, I, I want to show that as close as I can. Her tights are fishnets and they actually have... I think like a Lurex type of material because it has this gold shine to them um, which you can see a little bit there so they're fishnets but they're like a gold Lurex because they're shiny um, which I think is a super cool detail and it goes with everything else because she's got gold on her dress and her hair is kind of like a golden blonde sort of color so I think it's a great buy I would definitely recommend her and you know, let me know what you think about her or if you have her, what your favorite part of her outfit is. Um, she's definitely a great addition to my collection and I'm happy that she was my very first Buell. Thanks for watching.